there is something in the air at the world's biggest computer fair in the German city of Hanover. CBIT. Drones. At CBIT's Drone Park, we can see the future of drones is about functionality and efficiency rather than speed. A growing market segment is industry and inspection flights. What you see here behind us are models of industry facilities such as those offshore where it's not easy to fly to. So we need a strong and reliable system in the air. Intel says that drones reduced an inspection from more than 700 days to just 14. Cameras and sensors get better and they become lighter, so flight times get longer and the data about the facilities inspected get more and more reliable. Yet it's not just about drones at CBIT, it's about literally anything connected to the internet. Another topic in focus was human-robot collaboration, as seen in a research project by the German Research Centre for Artificial Intelligence. This mixed reality system makes it possible to manipulate robots in real time and remotely. A robot in the research centre's lab is operated from 500 kilometres away. You can try it out. Put on those glasses and you'll be able to handle robots that are not even here. They're a thousand kilometers away. Using mixed reality and virtual reality systems, workers at one location, together with colleagues and robots at a second location, can, for example, handle toxic materials. The user triggers the required action. If a worker had those glasses, he would find it easier to work. We have concrete projects with the industry that we have developed around those glasses, which will help to contribute to an ergonomic workplace. This is the Swiss city of Sion, where Swiss Post and its bus service have been operating the first driverless city bus in the world. It's a pilot project that's been underway since last year. We have been on the road now for nine months in the centre of Sion with two small buses and we have so far transported 16,000 people. While there were some sensor issues initially, they work well enough in clear conditions to help buses navigate smoothly through open traffic. We do have three leader sensors here, here and up there. They are like the eyes of the vehicle. The bus recognises obstacles through these sensors and knows that it has to stop. Finally, IT security specialist Sophos is looking at possible downsides. The company runs a so-called haunted house, where it shows how easy it is to hack into some smart homes around Germany and throughout the world. What we want to show is that there are many configuration errors. Many people put their smart homes, their own personal Internet of Things online. They should be properly protected. Systems linked to smart homes can potentially be attacked if not properly secured. CBIT first started 30 years ago. At this year's event, thousands of exhibitors from around the world attracted hundreds of thousands of visitors.